one of the things that has flourished mm -hmm. in this pandemic mm -hmm. is flavors of M&Ms. Okay. I talked to Steve about them previously because Matt Robb was on a kick. This guy we know named Matt Robb mm -hmm. from the same general area uh -huh. of us growing up. Yes was hip to sugar cookie M&Ms or something. Okay. And I would like to say these following things about M&Ms, and then I think there's a wonderful point to be made at the end. Okay. I'm listening. I tried three flavors of M&Ms yesterday because I had what my dad might call a uli. Okay. A lot of Italians have made up words for wanting things. I had a uli for peanut M&Ms, as I do most days. AKA hankering. Yeah, Hankrin's fine. Yeah. Hankrin was that Viking in the, was on the comic section. In Harry Potter. Great. Yeah. So I'll take your word for it. Okay. So I got, we got to the gas station. Yes. Best place to get M&Ms. Yes. Other than Hershey, Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. I got my M&Ms. Noticed it had some company on the shelf. Mm. It was flanked by white chocolate M&Ms. Uh -huh. Peanut in. Also, peanut coffee M and M's. Yes. So you know With your boy. Nut, they also had a nut in there. Of course. There's a dirty joke somewhere in there, but it's the same place where the yeah. peanut is. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I got all three. I took them home, and I ate most of all three, mm -hmm. except for the coffee one, which was devoured when I went to sleep, and that is okay. And I wanted to know what you thought of these M&M flavors. I would like to point out something at the very end. Please mm -hmm. remind me. Okay. And uh, I want to know your thoughts. Zoe, so could you, you rank them? You did have a few of the the coffee ones. Yes, you're not wrong. And I, you shared with me. Um, I think I only had the regular peanut M&Ms. Uh -huh. And the coffee flavored ones. You I didn't have the... I put a white chocolate one in your mouth at some point while you were building a table. I came by and I... I didn't even realize what what or why it was. That's not the best taste testing scenario no, I, when you're woodworking. It tasted like a, a regular peanut M&M &M to me. Okay, so nothing special no. about white chocolate. No. I don't disagree with that statement at all you know i'm not a big white chocolate person mm -hmm. no offense none taken but a little bit um, racist but it's okay that's what i'm saying i'm trying yeah. to i'm trying to clear my name i'm not a huge white chocolate person Rude. uh it was said it again but it was not i didn't hate it okay i didn't like it though okay so i would that would be three for me okay. that would be bottom Okay, I'm going to say it's three for me too, just because uh, I didn't even know what the fuck I was eating. Boom. You know? Three by default. And then, of course, you know, peanut M&Ms, they're like always like, there's like, that's top ring right there. Yes. You know? Yes, agreed. Um, pleasantly surprised by the coffee ones. Yes. Uh, I had two or three of them, mm -hmm. and then you fell asleep. Like a sleeping baby boy mm -hmm. on the couch, mm -hmm. and then Vulnerable. we were like laying together, and then I had to move because I was outrageously uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, when you're sleeping, you're vulnerable to theft, as we've seen in the past <laughs> weeks. I'm sorry I made you uncomfortable with how adorable I was uh, sleeping on the you couch. You were adorable, but and I felt bad moving because you were so comfortable. Yeah, um, I get comfy. That's kind of my thing. Yeah, a little about me. You're really good at getting comfy. <gasps> And I was like, and I still had like a little bit of the taste of the coffee M&Ms in my mouth. And I was just like, oh, I'll have a few more uh -huh. and then a few more. And by, by the time I knew it, I was like looking in the bag for more and they were gone. Next thing you know, dude, push come to shove. Neither of us have any more. No, no. At the end of that. I was like, he's going to say something to me about this, but. But only for, you have to know that I. Here was my first real thought. Mm -hmm. I went into the living room to clean up a little this morning mm -hmm. and I saw the empty bag there mm -hmm. and I was like, 
I'm glad she liked them. Yeah, they were good. This is me getting on you for finishing them when I was asleep. Yeah. Is only for entertainment oh, of purposes course, of on course, the show. Of course. I'm happy that you liked them. I did. I, I think enjoyed you liked them. them as much as I did, mm -hmm. which is nice mm -hmm. to share something like that. Mm -hmm. Um I would get them again. Mm -hmm. Where do you put the brownie, fudge brownie ones in this list? Four. Four after the white chocolate one that you didn't even know you had? You hated those. I don't like those at all. Those to me were fine. That's a once in a while. Yeah. Coffee is something. Yeah. That was great. Mm -hmm. I know there's people sitting at home. Where do you think? Where are the Prius butter? Where do you put in the Prius butter? Oh, or the pretzel ones are good too. Or the pretzel ones that people get yeah. worn about. Is that the one in the blue bag? Yeah, I believe so. Because there's like crispy shit in the blue bag. Mm -hmm. I thought they were malted milk bells. No. They getting Dick Tracy text messages. I am. On your I'm watch? sorry. I uh, it was a client. Okay. Well, I'm a client. I'm your coworker. Okay. On this job, we call. Welcome to our job. I was. Why just... don't you? I'm welcoming you to your job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Horny for conflict. Anyway, brownie ones are fine. I really, that's not going to be the title of the podcast. <laughs> I can't say things freely on this podcast thinking that you could just make the title anything that I say. Yeah, I can. Anyway, I had a great time eating M&Ms with you last night. I did too. Here is the overall point I want to make about all of these M&Ms. Mm -hmm. And this one goes out to the haters. Mm -hmm. What is the common thread? to 90% of the M&M flavors. What is the common thread? Yeah. Chocolate. Yes. The what coating. else? Sometimes there's several common threads. Buy a sweater. <laughs> what is another common thread? Candy coating, you might say. I Yeah. And what is another common thread? They all come in a bag. I mean... <laughs> Are you doing this on purpose because you know what I'm so happy about right now? Is that we can enjoy them together? Uh, I'll go. <laughs> because they all have a peanut in them. That's what she said. I mean, <laughs> after all this time, you finished the joke from before. I respect uh, it. 